You're gonna can green beans over and over again until you're sick of it. Good morning, beautiful people. It is a fine, smoky morning. Uh, anybody who is over on the East Coast, we're dealing with the smoke from the Canadian wildfires. So, my uh, outdoor projects are limited. Really, yesterday it was pretty bad. We got feed, uh, but for the most part, we tried to stay inside as much as we could. Uh, today doesn't look as bad. Yesterday was really smoky. Today, what I'm gonna do, first off, I got me a crate. I am going to pick green beans. They need to be picked. Actually, they very much need to be picked. So I'm gonna get some green beans picked and try to get this done before the heat really sets in. Bucket of water. You got a bucket of water? It's clean. Okay. Whoa, you've got a cucumber. What do you want to do? You gonna eat it? No, I'm gonna put it in my bucket of water. What? You want the that trimmed off? Mm-hmm. Like that? There you go. I see red. Oh, it's a bad bell pepper. Oh no, bummer. There's a new pepper we're growing this year called a manganji. Yeah. These are kind of a cool looking pepper. None of our cayenne seeds came up and I had these and they kind of looked kind of like cayenne. They're basically a long bell pepper. Yeah. Kind of a bummer, but. I mean, they're tasty. Yeah, they're kind of tasty. So we'll use them for something. Those are really cool. There's our haul for green beans. What'd you do for tomatoes? Too bad, just a little bit. Okay, that was taking up the bulk of the space. Yeah. The bell peppers. Yeah. Some sun golds. All right, not a bad haul. No, not bad. Let's get out of the heat. Okay. Put it on the scale. We have 14.8 pounds. So minus two for the container. Uh, that's 12 pounds of green beans. Yeah. I guess we're gonna be having a snapping party again. Yeah, I guess so. That's all right. We need to be out of this smoke. Yeah, it's Everybody's sense. complaining about just like yeah. lungs and it's just not real fun to breathe outside. No, so we'll really just gross. we'll just stay inside yeah. in the nice climate controlled <laughs> space. Filtered air. Filtered yeah. air. Yeah. All right. We are going to have a green bean snapping party. We've got some Simple Living Alaska. <laughs> We're just gonna watch while we do this. Yep. It's a nice way to stay out of the smoky heat outside. So, we're just gonna sit down and snap green beans. Right, so what you got going on over here smells amazing. So I'm gonna do some pickled dilly beans with our fresh garlic. And so I just peeled like two heads of garlic. So one of the things we have figured out we won't eat, we don't really like pickles. No, not really. But we will eat the heck out of some dilly beans. Yes. So I'm doing those again because Brett is like plowing through the rest of last year's. And he was like, can you make more of those? I will make you some more. What I'm gonna do is we will fill green beans in these first and then I'll just pressure can what's left. I'm guessing we're gonna get a 
another 15 quarts worth. Probably. That's about what we That's about what time. we did the other day. Yeah, so, so whatever, minus these. Minus those, yeah. minus the dilly beans. Yeah. All right. They just need to be washed, yep. and then we're ready. Yes. Where's the rest of them? Over there on the table. Over there on the table. <laughs> I don't have them from yet. Oops. Man down. <laughs> I saw that. All right. I'm gonna fill these up first, and then I will get the ones that I'm pressure canning going because I already got my water boiled for them. So I just did half a teaspoon of salt, two or three garlic cloves, and then a half a teaspoon of dill seed from last year because the dill that we have out there is not enough right now. For not even close. <laughs> no. But it needs I, to be a lot bigger. It does, but I saved seed from last year. Let's see if we can get through this without cracking a jar today. Well, we will see. I can break out the uh, the infrared thermometer and we'll like check everything and make sure everything's the same temperature. Gosh. You can tell what time of year it is by how the island looks. I know, right? <laughs> Cans of lamb stock we did yesterday, or you did yesterday. Okay. Green beans, dilly beans. Yep. Such a good time of year. More is coming. So our pantry smells so good right now. I think you're gonna need more jars. I think I will, but I can only do seven in a canner, so we'll start with this. The light in here is beautiful. It is. I feel like we just watched this. Yeah, deja vu. I mean, tis the season. It is. This is what we are doing. It is. Everybody wants to know what real homesteading is like. Yeah. You can green beans over and over again until you're sick of it. And stock, and stock and everything else. Tomatoes will be coming. Yep. Once tomatoes hit, they have such a short shelf life. It's yeah, go time. They do. Peppers. Peppers. Oh, I can't wait. There's so many out there and they're not ripening. I know. I'm so ready for hot sauce and salsa. Mix canning channel. <laughs> well, that's what it was last summer. Oh my goodness. You I know what? You. We were sick of filming canning and preserving. Yeah. And I saw so many comments of people going, oh my gosh, this is awesome. Really? Yeah. I think what was funny was after canning season was done, people were like, I wish you guys would still show stuff like canning. It's like, well, there's a season for that. Yeah, like, there is. But like, it's nice to know that. You know, people are interested in it. Yeah. Now, I feel like people are going to be kind of tired of watching green beans get canned, but... It's all right. Cherries are coming this week. Yeah, you ordered some cherries from Azure Standard. And they're supposed to be coming tomorrow. Tomorrow. So we get to pit thousands of cherries. Oh my gosh, yeah. Ooh, okay, moment of truth. the same sound too. Yeah, same sound. That Good sounded day. great. Dink. Do you want you don't want to hear that sound. Okay. Shh. I think we're good. I think we're good. You thought it really did. I don't know why I put up with you. <laughs> no. Alright, I decided that these there's not enough to really make more than probably two, two and a half quarts, so I'm just gonna bag that and we'll eat these this week. Fridge. Fresh eating. Fresh eating. So I'm going to get these, my vinegar and water, it was just 50-50 vinegar and water, apple cider vinegar. It's ready, it's hot, so I'm going to get these poured. 
And then you want to talk about this contraption that you've got. Have you talked about it? So, not really. Um, so this is a steam mechanor that a viewer sent me because she was like, it's going to blow your mind, change your life. <laughs> and I've tried it a couple times and actually it <laughs> kind of blew my mind. <laughs> um, it's really nice because I don't have to lug the big fat water bath canner. water bath canner full of, you don't have to fill it up with the sink and then like haul it over here or fill up a you know jug or something right and then deal with like all that water when it's done i actually really hate wasting all that water when it's done um so this fills up to it's probably like two inches you fill it up to the platform and then it steams it you you set the lid on here it seals around it's got a little vent in the back and then you go until your altitude zone on the dial. It's dirty right now. Well, the camera wasn't behaving. Okay. So there's your altitude. Yeah, so you go up to So the first time you use it, you actually like calibrate it um, and you put four, I think four jars in there full of water and you set it and you let it go and then you figure out where it actually stops. The needle stops and then you mark that and that's like where you're at in your specific altitude and that's where you're supposed to set it out. So I really like it. It's been really cool. I don't have to use as much water. I can fit just as many jars in it. As a water bath can. Yeah, it's been awesome. Yeah. Yeah, so. when the first time I saw you use that, it was like, wait, <laughs> no, like 20 gallons of water that yeah. you're having to boil? No, it's really nice because it takes like way less time. And it's the same processing time as a water bath canner. So. Nice. <laughs> it's very vinegary. It is very vinegary. <laughs> it, the hotter that stuff has gotten, the spicier it has gotten inside the house. <laughs> yeah, it's a little. I hope I measured enough. I figured double what the recipe it called for was good, but we'll see. These are going to be so good. They are. I think what's hard about like pickling stuff is it's not going to be good today. No, it's not. It's, done. Okay. it's not going to be good tomorrow or next week. No. It's going to be good in a month or two. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta wait and let all those flavors like get in there and like, mellow together. If we like basically time capsule these and like do not open until 2024, <laughs> like January 24th, yeah. they will be so tasty. And okay. that's probably when we'll really crack into probably. them. Probably. Do not open until Christmas. Yes. Oh, make our own Christmas presents. There you go. Dilly beans for Christmas. <laughs> Brett would like that. He would. He's wiped off and lidded. Get them in the steam can. I should probably mention that the steam canner is for anything that you would regularly water bath. So yeah, you're not pre it. you're not pressure cooking no. in a steam. It's basically a replacement for a water bath. Right. Anything high acid. Is... This is your uh, your stash. stash. <laughs> Like sideways cookie jars. Have you ever seen those? They're like yeah, yeah, they're like a hexagonal shape. Yeah, I should get those for jar lids. Yeah, that would work great. Oh, oh. Hold on. Ah. Oh. <laughs> that noise is like Oof. so bad. That steam hissing out is just wears on the nerves. Wears on. It's like it's like being in a shop and somebody's air hose oh. is hissing, and everybody has become like ear blind to it, yeah. deaf to it, ear blind. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's become deaf to it, like you don't even hear it anymore. But you know, as a outsider, it's like, what is this? Yeah. All right. All right. The only trick is you gotta like keep them away from the edges enough to get the lid on. That's, that's eight jars, so. Lid is on, heat is on, and we're just gonna wait for this to start steaming, and then I will pay attention, and once this is up to its spot, then we start the timer, and it's, it's 10 minutes. So that's your little mark of calibration? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it works. Yeah. Pretty simple. It's pretty simple. Everything is out of the canner. What a beautiful sight, Isn't that lady. Beautiful? <laughs> that is just like a feast to behold. It is. All right. Beautiful. Let's 
So what you got going on for dinner? All right, we are doing, from the lamb the other night, we're doing French dip sandwiches. So I have this lamb and I've got some broth. <laughs> hey, vlogger. What are you doing? So anyways, we have the meat, we have some broth left and I've got the drippings from roasting it. So I'm just gonna throw them all in here, get it all heated up. And then I made some buns yesterday and we will have- oh, Here's the buns. These are beautiful buns. I mean, look at those glorious <laughs> buns. Those are beautiful. All right, sounds good. Meg is uh, sitting here salivating at the wonderful smells coming out of the kitchen. She goes, I really wish I had some prepared horseradish to put on this French dip sandwich. And I said, we have horseradish out in the greenhouse. I can go dig you some. So I'm gonna go dig some up and we'll see if we can make some fresh horseradish. Yeah. That's something that we've wanted to do for, for a while. A like time. the whole reason we grew horseradish is so we could, you know, maybe make some prepared horseradish. So yes. this might work, it might not. Okay. They, they might not be any good. Oh, I didn't think about that. Like they've been in the ground a very long time. Well, we'll see. We'll see. In case you guys haven't seen, this uh, volunteer kakuzi I let grow in here is like taking over. It was actually all the way up to here. And we had a thunderstorm on actually Tuesday last week and it blew all of the vines. They'd made it to the peak up here. It blew all the vines all the way off. And now they're out here laying in the grass, doing their thing and they've righted themselves. But yeah, they are actually on top of the majority of our horseradish. So we can, we can get to these ones. These ones are out where we can get them. Dig up this one first. That one looks pretty good. Those ones, I don't have real high hopes for. Okay, go ahead, pull it up. Oh, nope. No root? Nope. No root. That actually looks like it re-sprouted. Uh -huh. The root is right there. That's what we planted. That's what happened last time we grew them. So this is actually what we want, is these roots. So why don't we stick this back in the ground there, open up a hole for me. I'll stick these in. Oh, that sounds promising. Oh, oh. all right. You have a pile of smaller roots. Those were like growing horizontally. Uh, I've got a pretty good pile of roots right here. We'll take them in, wash them up, and see uh, see if we can make some prepared horseradish out of these. That'd be cool. It's a bunch of grating of little bitty roots. All right. Horseradish. Not very big. No, but you grate up the roots. Yeah, I might be able to get something out of that. So I figure what we don't use, we can just stick back in the ground. <laughs> like those are some roots we pulled up. Okay. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's better than wasabi. <laughs> Was that rolling? I wasn't rolling. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Are you okay? That's pretty good. <laughs> I think it's Those fresh. are strong. Yeah, all right, cool. Let's make <laughs> some prepared horseradish. <laughs> I'm gonna treat this just like comfrey. These are the crowns. This one actually has a sprout. So I bet you if I plant these, that'll grow a whole new root. So we'll see. So you just bit off some of this? Yeah, yeah just, uh, just some root. Don't bite off that much. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. oh, man, that's spicy. So we've never done this before. No. Just getting the outer root off. Try that piece. Crunch on that. Yeah, it's uh, like it puts anything oh. we've ever. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh man! I thought I wasn't gonna do anything. I put the last one in my mouth, get up to grab my water, and <laughs> oh, kablooey. That's probably. It's nicely chopped. I mean, it's not. 
Don't inhale. She's, I just made oh. myself. <laughs> oh. oh, be careful. That's really spicy. Oh. Oh. Whoa, that hits oh. hard. Oh, man. Okay, I think that's the best we're gonna get out of the blender. Now it's just like stuck. But, okay, so stay on back. So, this is probably gonna be a little dabble, do ya? I think so. Fresh horseradish is the way to go. So, it did say for stronger horseradish, let it sit a little bit before you put the vinegar on it. So, I think I'm gonna do that because I like that. Okay. Oh, uh, nearly crying yes, isn't strong yeah, enough. I am so. tearing up. <laughs> Let's uh, let's make it a little bit stronger. I'm getting impatient. I don't want to wait. <laughs> I'm hungry. So this is white vinegar. Mm -hmm. I saw you put a pinch of sugar in there. Mm -hmm. And some salt. And some, some salt. salt. It gets me from the spoon. Mmm. Taste some of that. Is it good? That'll be really good once the uh, flavor mellows out. That is quite tasty. Mm. Okay. All right. You all ready to eat? Yep. Yeah. Let's eat. Hungry. Okay. That looks now really good. You or I realized something. Okay. Okay. Ready? Dear Heavenly Father, <clears throat> thank you for today. I want mustard and this and mustard and this. Or do you want it a dip? I want it a dip. I want some more of this. You like the Felipe's mustard? Well, it's really mellowed out, so yeah, it's not. This, if anybody <laughs> is in the uh, Los Angeles area, go to Felipe's, try their spicy mustard. You'll thank us. Uh, we have had this for a little bit, so it's lost its potency. Po potency. Those sandwiches were amazing with so the, uh, the secret weapon. Uh, we're gonna have to do that more often. Yeah, that was, that was really good. Like, I have like sweat. Sweat. I know. Me too. I'm just like, oh. I have this weird, like, kind of like sinus pain up behind my eyes. <laughs> but it's so good. Oh yes. Cheap thrills. Yeah. Mm, cheap thrills. That made it. That was so good. The vinegar. Adding the vinegar so soon after grating it did mellow it quite a it bit. It did mellow it quite a bit. So I think mm. next time I would definitely let it sit. Because what I was reading was it said, let it sit longer, grate it, and then you add the vinegar. So we'll see. Is that a good sandwich? Are you liking that? Are you liking the mustard? <laughs> I think somebody was hungry. I think he was. <laughs> and yet we keep doing it. Uh, yeah. It's like peppers. People who don't enjoy spicy stuff look at people who do like they're crazy. Yeah. It's yeah. like, why are you inflicting pain on yourself? Because it hurts so good. <laughs> <laughs> so tasty. All right. We are going to wrap it up right here. So we will catch you guys on the next one. Bye. It's her favorite thing in the world. She loves to dip. Any dip of any kind is the best. <laughs> French dip. What's on this? Huh? What's on this? Mustard and the meat and the dip because you just put in it. That's the mustard. <laughs> What's this? That's meat. She's so intent. <laughs>